wonderful. What an introduction. Well, <laughs> and actually. Presidents call me. It's true, it's true. I just watched what? your latest Cup of Joe interview with Joe Biden <laughs> on your YouTube channel. It was a good, hot cup of hope. It was wonderful. It's <laughs> so amazing, your roster of not only accomplishments, but your diverse, actionable interests. And <laughs> I think everything you touch turns to gold. Stop. I have such Keep a going. deep respect for you. I was really excited to do this interview with you. I was like, I... Wait, real quick, girl, you were describing me and I could not tell if you were not being humble and describing yourself. Ma'am, you uh, are so versatile. You are, I'm such a, let me, let me get my compliments out. <laughs> you are literally a beam of light shot down from the heaven above oh. to create joy and you do it well. If that was too strong, I'll just say it. I love no, you. No, so, I'm, yes, I wouldn't know how to not come off too strong. I spend my life <laughs> like a Labrador in heat. I'm like, <laughs> um, and, me too, small chihuahua for me. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Well, we could be, yes. Oh, good, okay. <laughs> We're two small dogs. When you like found Vine, what was your first foray like? What were your thoughts, feelings, goals? I'm dying to know because you catapulted such a large, important, interesting career out of it. So what was that seed and origin? Yeah, well, it was very deep, very intentional, very strategic. Um, I basically sat down in my car and pressed record. And <laughs> that was my first time ever creating a Vine. The next was an, I upgraded to a different set. It was a bathroom. And that's where I started creating was my set was my home. And I, I clearly can't shut up. Um, so I just created on YouTube and started transitioning into creating characters and scripts and creating this world to play in and, and see if others, you know, would come along for the journey. But yeah, these different characters I created were different extensions of myself. So I had my confident self. I played the role of a confident man, which we've seen you say absolutely anything. And then I had the role of a maternal maternal mother of sorts in my life that I created through a character. And then I had the younger version of me, which was my inner child. So creating all these different moments for myself to express as those versions of myself and then <laughs> consolidate and become the woman I am today. Um, that's kind of how I created things online. It's been, a, it's been a journey. It's been a wild one, but it's fun. I was so nervous and excited because I think that when boy Me? Yes, because Girl. You, it's true. Because, you know, first of all, I love you as a beauty junkie. I mean, come on. Uh, right. You have mad technique. Mad technique, girl. I'll take that. Thank you. All these compliments are making me schwitz, girl. So hold on. Good. Speaking of makeup. By the way, by I the time you leave here, you're going to look like you just came out of a pool. So where did you, do you just on film try a cloud eye or do you practice it first and then film it? You know, I appreciate and love the beauty community so much. You say I'm a beauty junkie. I call myself beauty chunky. I'm real new here. I'm the new girl. I say chunky because sometimes my makeup's not perfect. I mean, and that is a that. reminder that perfection will never exist. And uh, yeah. I'm a living, I'm living proof of that. But, <laughs> if but you know, I strive to just have fun. There's imperfection. You can't get hey. one without the other. So yeah, perfect's an idea. Imperfect's the truth. Um, but you know what my daughter's school motto yeah. is? Brave, not perfect. Mm, okay, so I've been real brave with my makeup looks then in creating those, because I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing, but I step into it wholeheartedly. And then throughout the course of my videos, girl, you just, you see like the shine come. Because like you say, like beauty starts from the inside out. I love that you say that. It's the way you feel. And you always remember how someone makes you feel or how a, even a product makes you feel. So that personal touch, that's why I make sure I have that in everything that I do because it makes you feel good. It's from a human to a human. Did I read a story about that you put some food frozen in your suitcase, possibly in and out burgers? Yes, girl, okay. So real quick, I am from Houston, Texas, born and raised, always represents real well, like Beyonce. And I a packed frozen Whataburger in my suitcase <laughs> to convince my friends in California who don't know what taste is. But we, I packed that up and I froze it and I, I tried my best and I brought it home in a suitcase. And girl, that, that, that freezing did not work. It just melted, <laughs> it, smelled like, it smelled like a gym locker room after a Friday Night Lights football game. It was not, not good. By the way, you bring up Friday Night Lights quite a bit. I've read several quotes where you talk about Friday Night Lights. Are you a Friday Night Lights fan? Clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. Ah! It's the best show.
I lived it. So I was on the drill team. I'm Lieutenant Lazakoshi at your service. Um, I was on the drill dance team in Houston, Texas, and I had my Friday Night Lights dream. I dated a football player. I was one of the captains of the drill team. I went on, you know, th that field and did my high kicks. So, so you're Lila <laughs> Garrity. You're Lila yeah. Garrity. <laughs> um, I. That makes sense because I was trying to look into your dance background. You are such a good dancer. Thank you. Thank you. That's where I'm born and raised, Houston, Texas. So it started ballet when I was a kid, and that's actually how I got into makeup too. Was being on, you know, underneath Friday Night Lights, but also those bright stage lights. Yeah. And having to wear like pretty much acrylic paint on a kid at like seven or eight years old is when I started, and the brightest, pinkest blush possible underneath those lights. So that's where I learned like how to beat my face in order to look right. Um, I was also one of the only brown girls on that stage too, so I definitely had to find my foundation pretty fast. And I, I experimented with my sister's makeup. It didn't work for me. Had a lot of breakouts actually, a lot of um, trips to the dermatologist. Still owe them money to this day. I'm still running. But they, you know, that, that whole experience really made me realize, you know, what works for my skin. It's natural, organic ingredients. It's, you know, what you, what you worry about, on, uh, about putting on the inside of your body, you know, natural, raw, whole foods, is what you should be putting on the outside of your body too, at least for me, that's what works for me. Those are the recipes that work on my skin. Yeah. And so to create something that might be the answer to other problems that kids are having, I wanted to create the solution on the shelf, if not for myself, for somebody else. Uh, these are just such bright, beautiful messages. Oh my God. Coming from an angel shot down from the sky above yourself. What? Oh my God. You, you mean the I Labrador received... in heat? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have that? <laughs> yes, exactly. We're two little doggies. I get you. We're on that vibe. Yep. Yep. Um, we need to walk soon.